Welcome back to Infigyan friends. In today's video, we are having another challenging and interesting question from Radical Mathematics. Here we are going to evaluate 8 over x cube minus 6 over x value. Once given equation is x minus 1 whole cube equal to 12 plus 9 times cube root 3 plus cube root 9. So let's get started by considering this expression equal to e first. Then I will write our equation given. So left hand side it is x minus 1 whole cube. Right hand side 12 plus 9 in bracket cube root 3 plus cube root 9. Now I can split 12 as 3 plus 9. This is 12. Now 9 can be written as this 9 I will factor 3 times 3. Then our bracket cube root 3 plus cube root 9. Now I can write in next step 3 plus 9 as it is plus 3 times this 3. I will write cube root 27. Cube root 27 is 3. Then we have bracket cube root 3 plus cube root 9. Now if I will write our 3, this 3, then I can write in terms of cube root. It is cube root 3 whole cube. 9, we can write cube root 9 whole cube, same way, plus 3 times. Now factors of 27, we can write cube root 3 times cube root 9, 3 times 9, 27, then we have bracket cube root 3 plus cube root 9. Now right hand side is recalling one powerful algebraic identity a cube plus b cube plus 3ab in bracket a plus b. So cube root 3 is a and cube root 9 is b. So we can write our equation now x minus 1 whole cube it will be equal to a plus b. So cube root 3 plus cube root 9 whole cube. Let me write x minus 1 whole cube it will be equal to cube root 3 plus cube root 9 whole cube. Now we can consider cube root both sides to eliminate power 3. Now this cube root and power 3 will be cancelled out. From both the sides we will have x minus 1 equal to cube root 3 plus cube root 9. Add 1 to both sides we will get x equal to 1 plus cube root 3 plus cube root 9 or I can write x equal to cube root 9 I will be writing here then I will be writing 1 then I will be writing cube root 3. Now let's write 9 as 3 square 1 as 1 square and this cube root 3 would be as it is. Now I will use one exponential property a power b whole power c any time we can swap the powers a power c whole power b. So I will swap here both the powers cube root and square. So I can write cube root 3 whole square plus 1 whole square plus cube root 3 times 1. Now you can see it is recalling one segment of identity. Let us consider a equal to cube root 3. Cube root 3 equal to a and 1 equal to b. So here I can write x equal to a square plus b square plus ab. RHS is 
a square plus b square plus ab. Remember a is cube root 3 and b is 1. Let me write here. a is cube root 3 and b is 1. And x we have got a square plus b square plus ab. Now I will write one algebraic identity a cube minus b cube. It is equal to a minus b times a square plus b square plus ab. Let's apply the values. So I will be writing here cube root 3 whole cube. A was cube root 3. Now b is 1, so I will write 1 cube a minus b so cube root 3 minus 1 and this bracket is x now i can cancel cube root with power 3 1 cube is 1 so left hand side is 3 minus 1 right hand side it is cube root 3 minus 1 times x so this value is 2 equal to cube root 3 minus 1 times x or I can write our x value it will be equal to 2 over cube root 3 minus 1. Let me write this value here x equal to 2 over cube root 3 minus 1. First I will divide both sides by 2. So x over 2, it will be equal to 1 over cube root 3 minus 1. Now I will consider reciprocal both sides. So we have to flip numerator and denominator. I will be writing 2 over x equal to cube root of 3 minus 1. Now let's add 1 both sides. So 2 over x plus 1 this value is equal to cube root 3. Now I will consider squaring both sides first. So I will write here 2 over x plus 1 whole square and this side whole square. So a plus b whole square formula I will apply. So a square 2 over x whole square 4 over x square plus 2ab term, 2 times 2 over x times 1, 4 over x plus b square, so it will be 1. RHS will be cube root 3 square, so I can write cube root 9 or I can write 4 over x square plus 4 over x. This value is equal to cube root 9 minus 1. Very very important equation we have calculated. Now I will consider cubing of the same equation. Equation was 2 over x plus 1 equal to cube root 3. So let me write here 2 over x plus 1 equal to cube root 3. Let's consider power 3. Cube both sides. So right hand side it will be cube root and power 3 will be over. Left hand side I will apply a plus b whole cube formula. So let us apply a cube. So it will become 8 over x cube plus b cube. So it will be 1 plus 3a square b. So 12 over x square plus 3ab square. So 6 over x. Right hand side will be. 3. So I will take away 1 from both sides. I can write 8 over x cube plus 12 over x square plus 6 over x equal to 3 minus 1. It will be 2. Let me call this is our equation number 1 and the last equation which we calculated. Let me write that is equation number 2. So that equation was 4 over x square plus 4 over x equal to cube root 9 
minus 1. This was equation. Let us call 2. Now I will multiply the second equation by 3 and then I will subtract from 1. So let me write here operation 1 minus 3 times equation 2. So equation 2 after multiplying by 3, let me write here. So 3 times equation 2, it will be 12 over x square plus 12 over x. This will be equal to 3 times in bracket cube root 9 minus 1. Now I will subtract this equation from equation number 1. So I will get LHS as 8 over x cube. These two terms will be cancelled out. And 6 minus 12 will be minus 6. So our LHS will come out. So 8 over x cube minus 6 over x. This will be left in LHS. RHS it will be 2 minus 3 times cube root of 9 minus 1. Once I will expand, I will write my answer E equal to 2 plus 3. So it will become 5. And then minus 3 times cube root 9. So this is our final answer for this radical challenge. I hope friends you will like this video. Thank you so much for watching. Do not forget to like, share, subscribe. Bye bye till next video. Good luck. Take care of yourself. Bye-bye.